Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to Sunday School. This is our third week being away from each other, and honestly, it feels like it's been at least two months already. Like, it's been way too long, and I hope we get to see each other um, very shortly. But until then, I'll be doing this every week, and I'll try to come up, maybe we'll do a Zoom call. I don't know how else I'm not great with like technological stuff, but I'll try to find a way that we can reconnect. Um, before I get into my lesson about having a grateful spirit and how an ungrateful spirit affects us negatively, I want to talk about the giveaway since I did mention that on my Instagram. So there are going to be two Starbucks gift cards that I'm giving away, one for girls in my Sunday school class, and that includes anyone who's middle school age, so any girl who's middle school age. So even if you don't come on Sundays, you're here right now, so you're part of the class. And then anybody else is that second category. So what you need to do is you need to comment below somebody who's done something kind for you and what they did for you these last couple weeks. Okay, somebody that you're thankful for. And you can comment up to three people. Well, you can comment as many people as you want, but up to three entries into the contest. And so that'll be two different, two different drawings for two different categories. But I just wanna like sh um, spread some positivity, tell somebody that you're thankful for them. Like, you know how great it feels when you help somebody. Um, let someone else feel that. Maybe we can create just a, a circle of gratitude um, with this. So go ahead and do that. I hope you stay for the rest of the lesson, but that was part of the giveaway. All right, so an ungrateful spirit. Sometimes we don't realize this root in our life because we're so focused on um, things that we're not grateful for or negative things that we don't notice that's what's going on. So what this produces in our life is it produces negativity. If we're only thinking about the negative things and not what we're thankful for, we're going to be a negative person. Next, it produces selfishness. Always what's going on, what happened to me? Why am I upset? Why, why is somebody bothering me? Like It produces selfishness. All we care about is how we're affected. It also produces inconsideration of others. Because when we're only worried about how we're affected and we're focused on all the things that we're not thankful for, we don't think about how we're hurting other people. And then lastly, ultimately, it can create a lack of respect for God. If we're not thankful for what he's given us, we don't think about the good things and we just, you know, you've heard people say, if God really loved us, why is this happening? And sometimes an ungrateful spirit can ultimately produce that in us and that's something we don't want. So, first of all, here we go. Don't let the negative steal the spotlight from the positive. And let me explain that. I'm not one of these people who says, everything's perfect, everything's fine, only focus on the positive at all times. Like, during this time, we've all had to think about negative things. I can't just leave my house and pretend there's no pandemic going on. I can't just walk in the grocery store like, everything's cool, like, whatever. I can't go hug people, shake people's hands and pretend that everything's great. However, just because there is negative doesn't mean we have to, like, focus just on the negative. So, every day, this is, this is what I challenge you to do this week. Every day, carve out some time to think about positive things. Just think about pe things that people have done for you. Um, think about the good things that have been going on recently. Just whatever you can muster up, I want you to thank God for it, for those good things. So I wanted to share, since I'm not commenting below, almost every single day in the past few weeks that we've been on this quarantine, I've been able to talk to my mom. She's just been there for me to listen, provide emotional support, tell me I'm doing a good job with my school, like anything, she's there for me. And I really appreciate that. So instead of focusing on, oh, I can't do anything. I probably got COVID from the grocery store. I'm so upset. Okay, yeah, we feel that way sometimes, but focus on the things that are good. Try at least, and you don't have to ignore the bad. Just focus on the good as much as possible. So. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Not for everything give thanks. I don't think God expects you to say, Dear God, thank you that I can't see my friends, that I'm stuck inside, and that I can't go anywhere, that I'm scared I'm going to get sick. I don't think he wants you to thank him for COVID-19, but I think he wants us to thank him for the good things, even in the bad things. Does that make sense? Even during those bad times, we can still thank him for good things. All right, so remember... God can take bad things and make good things out of it, if that makes sense. Romans 8.28 says, "For We know that all things work together for good, for them who love God, for them who are the called according to his purpose. He takes negative situations and he can create positive out of them. 
Not that it was a positive situation, but that something positive came from it. And this has happened to almost everyone where they've looked back, hindsight is twenty twenty, and they've said, wow, that was horrible, but it actually shaped me into the person I was. And it was actually, it ended up helping me in a positive way, even though it was horrible. So remember that um, as we're going through something that's kind of, you know, not great, we can admit that it's negative. God can work positive from it. And that's where our faith comes in. If you're a Christian, if you believe God, that's a faith, that's like a promise we can cling to if we trust him. All right, so number one, don't let the negative steal the spotlight from the positive. And number two, be thankful to God. I wanna share with you, I was reading Psalm 136. You know I love poetry if you know me. And so I've been reading Psalms through the eye of, this is poetry. Um, and Psalm 136 repeats the same line over and over. For his mercy endureth forever. For his mercy endureth forever. And it starts with, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And then it reminds, it was the Israelites at the time, of all the amazing things he had done for them, taking them out of Egypt, giving him sustenance in the desert, um, giving, giving them the promised land, like all these great things that God had done. And he reminds them, his mercy endures forever. Remember, remember, remember. So when we're dealing with stuff that we're not happy about, remember God's mercy endures forever. And through his mercy, he's given us so much. He's given us life. He's given us the friends and family, even the one, even when we're annoyed with them sometimes. Like ultimately every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. That comes from God. And so during this time and during times when you're not feeling super thankful, try to remind yourself of the good things that God has done for you and kind of like turn that frown upside down. Okay, let's move on from that embarrassment. Next, be thankful for the good people in your life and tell them. So after you comment the people that you're thankful for and what they've done for you, tell them. Give them some encouragement. You know how encouraging it is for someone to say like, thank you, Mrs. Walker, like even like commenting on my videos. Thank you, Mrs. Walker. And I'm like, you're welcome. Like even a, a simple thank you can like brighten someone's day and make them feel like, hey, I made a difference. And that just like spreads positivity around when we tell somebody they helped us. The Bible says in Philippians 1.3, this is Paul writing to the church of Philippi. He says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Like, I thank God for you. When's the last time you told somebody, I thank God for you or just thank you for something? Because when you start looking at things through the lens of like, wow, that they're awesome. That, that's a good friend right there. My mom is doing the most. Like, yeah, there's a lot of drama going on and everyone's like kind of stressed out over it, but she still made time for me and she still did this for me and he still did whatever the case may be. So thank God for the people in your life and thank them and tell them you're thankful for them. So I wanted to just leave you with a couple of verses from Proverbs. Proverbs 17, 22 says, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. So there's like a comparing contrast there. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. A broken spirit dryeth the bones. One brings health, one brings death. And obviously these are pictures. This isn't like literal. These are pictures. A merry heart being thankful for things brings a happy heart and it can help you feel better. And a broken spirit, you ever just felt like, oh, you just have no life in you, you just like worn out. Being thankful can breathe that life back in you. And then that very last one, Proverbs 15, 13 says, a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. There's gonna be sorrow in our lives and it's gonna break our spirit, but that merry heart can bring that smile back to our face. And it's not as simple as, Thank you, God, for everything. I understand there's like complex emotions and drama, but starting off by trying to be thankful and focus on the positive and like acknowledge that God is in control and that he can work things for good is a good start in order to replenish our thankful spirit inside of us. So go ahead and comment. I will announce the winners on my Instagram. And just, I'm so thankful for you guys. Just keep on doing your best. I know you just started school, most of you, and you've been doing great. Um, so just keep doing your best. I miss you, I love you, and I hope to see you very soon.